good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Thank you so much for tuning into my stream. My name is Fenix Nomai. If this is your first time here, welcome. And if this is a return trip, welcome back. We are back again today with Castlevania Symphony of the Night, ideally for the finale. Uh, I want to say we are... Actually, I think... Can I check here? Will it show me how far we are from the end? Um, I think I have maybe three or four more bosses to beat. We just need to work our way through the rest of the inverted castle, and then we are good to go. But also, before I forget, oh, I forgot about the drip we had going, and there is Bad to the Bone Riff. Hello, little buddy. We're, we're getting through this today, you and me. Uh, so, one thing I want to point out real quick because I am extremely hyped. We are five subscribers away from 100. We are we are so close now. Thank you all so much. I cannot wait. I am so excited. I hope I hope we hit it soon. But even if it takes a while, we'll we'll get there. We're getting there slowly but surely. Uh and as long as I'm doing my plugs for stuff like that, I want to remind everyone the Discord server is open. There are invite links in the video description in... Okay, hello, I... Alright, back to... Back to what I was saying. Uh, the Discord server is open. If you have any interest in joining, we would love to have you there. It's not all stuff about the channel. We have sections to talk about gaming, uh, memes, anime. Uh, we've got bots to interact with. Oh my god, where am I? I forgot what I was doing when I was last playing. Uh, it has been a couple of days. I do apologize. Some stuff came up. But we are back to it now. Um, what is... What is this? Okay, hello. Yep. Yep. Riff. Thank you, Riff. We got a lot going on here already, don't we? That's alright, though. I forgot we, uh, we upgraded our sword. What is it? The Terminus Est? Yes! The Terminus Est and the Medusa Shield. So we are stronger than we were before. Also, I have a lot of stuff that I need to sell. I need to remember to do that at some point. Uh, Decay Bay, wonderful Bingus, Ness Enjoyer, welcome to the stream. Happy to have you here. Uh, you're not welcome, Phoenix. Okay. Uh, let's see what's, what's down here. Big guy. Very big guy. Oh, but he he's still all oh, oh, holes like the rest. He, he's going to the off screen here. Hey Phoenix, remember to sell your stuff. But listen, it's actually going to be really helpful having a reminder in the chat. Thank you. Thank you to Kevin. Died, but he died over there, so if he dropped anything, I'll never know. Can we... You know what, how about... What if I hit him with one of these? What if I say I'm just not... If I'm not dealing with that, I'm just gonna sneak on by you now, let Riff do his damage, and we're, we're moving on. We're done here. Oh, is there a fake wall over here? This feels like a prime location for a fake wall. That's all I'm saying. Maybe they didn't want to take advantage of it. I, I still think it would be a good spot, though. Oh, uh, hey, buddy. Um, right. So we've got... Is the Coliseum in the middle of here? No, this is the elevator shaft. Uh, never mind, the Coliseum is here. H hey, guys. You hanging out? Having a good old skeleton time in here? It, it, it really hurts seeing stuff like this. I mean, these skeletons 
they wanted to put on a show. They really had a great thing planned in the Upside Down Coliseum here. But these skeletons, they got ready to perform, and they found out that uh, they had no body in the audience. Huh? 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 All right. Uh, what's going on, boys? I'm, I'm, I'm here. I'll watch the show. What are you doing? Hello? Is that Trevor? I think that's Trevor. Yeah, that's that's Trevor Belmont. Uh, deactivate skeleton show. Turn off, turn off skeleton show. I I no one I no longer want to be a part of this. Um, I was not warned about the audience participation. Are they only doing one damage? Three damage? I I may be worried too much about these uh these goosters here. I thought they were gonna start putting in work on me, and uh, as a matter of fact, light work, no reaction. Why don't I get a, a title for that? Okay, no, no, no. Uh, Sifa. Okay, she did some damage. But yeah, why don't I get a name for this guy? Doesn't matter now. Alright, well, next one. Was that really all that... Was that it? That's all they had for me? I... I don't know, they just... They, they seemed... They seemed more prepared. Maybe... Maybe all they had was a presentation, because they didn't really follow through there. Speaking of Martin, is the stream with them still up? Yeah! Uh, it was one of the Sonic Frontier streams. I forget which part. I think... Maybe one or two before the finale? I'm sure... What is this? What is this? Shield. Yeah, those are shields. And spears. I wasn't expecting spears. Get him, Riff! Get him! Burn him with your fire! Alright. What, what do we have over here? I forget. Pretty much everything on this side of the map. Also, can I just say real quick? I love the clouds. I love what the clouds do outside. Seeing the clouds above in the normal castle and the clouds below in the, uh, in the inverted castle. I really do enjoy it. Uh, and maybe... Okay, let me... I was gonna say something that would have been wrong. Um... I was just gonna say, like, oh, that's the most advanced thing I think the PS1 did. No, it's not. No, it really isn't. But for the 2D style of the main game, I think having that kind of stuff going on, the occasional 3D effects, like with the okay, okay, hey, hey, Riff, Riff, do you wanna, do you wanna step in here? That's all right, I got it. Um. But the occasional 3D kind of being juxtaposed against the, the 2D style, I think is a really nice touch. Are there more? Are there more little demon guys coming now? What are you? Legitimately, what are you? Archer. Yeah, I, I figured as much, but like, why do you have that. Okay. He died and the whole thing exploded. What, was he part of that? Half archer, half... I don't even know what you would call that. That little cart. The stair cart. 
You know what it is? It's one of those, um, ah, uh, what are they called? There used to be TV, TV infomercials for them all the time. Help? You know what? Giving them the mist. Hitting the mist on them. Um, but those, like, stair chairs for old people. Oh, hello, heart maps. Oh, I'll take that. Um, but what were they called? The, like, you know, you would install, like, a rail system on the stairway, and there was a chair that old people would sit in, and it would take them up and down the stairs. It was, like, automated. Um, oh my god, what is that called? Stair glide! Stair glide. Thank you. Thank you, Decay Bay. Yeah, those archers back there are just, they just have stair glides installed. God, you know what? I actually love infomercials and background noise if the TV is ever on. See, I only... Maybe I'm dating myself here. Maybe... Maybe I'm just, you know, a bit of a, 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 a zoomer boomer. But commercials... Infomercials and commercials in general, they just don't hit like they used to. Like, give me infomercials from, like, 20 years ago. That... I will take those any day over modern day commercials. More often than not, modern day commercials just feel like brain rot. Then again, I'm saying I enjoy, you know, listening to commercials. So maybe the brain rot is already well within me. What is this? Okay, well, I don't have a choice as to whether or not I want to be involved with this. Hello? Oh my gentle Jesus, what the fuck? That's a big body. That's a big body. That's a body of a... Bugs? Bug body? Beelzebub. Ain't that the bad one? That's the big bad one, right? Rip, help me. I've been poisoned by the feet? Oh, don't tell Martin about this episode. Oh god. Okay, the legs are gone. We have we have made this a safe video now. What is the, the worms? The maggots? Oh no, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. Okay, yeah, those big bugs do 52 damage a piece. Holy shit. Um, we're gonna take a shield potion and we are gonna heal. Um, three dim sum dishes. Good. Yes, good. Okay, no, we need more than that. Um, the shield potion's definitely gonna help, but I need, I need some healing here. Um, strength potion, that's, that's going in. Uh, pork bun. Do love me a pork bun. Alright. Shield is up. Strength is up. Life apple heals. Okay, cool. That might be good. Uh, potion. Do like me some potions. Alright. Now, what else? What else? What else? Banana. Gotta have the banana. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Good banana. Chiquita. Alright, I got meal tickets, so I have I have food if I really, really need. Um I just wasn't expecting the infinite spawning bugs to hit me for 52 damage a piece. Uh Slap Chop, Vince, and Billy Mays set standards. They really did. Um I prefer Super Mario 64 over DS over the real thing. I mean, they did add stuff to DS, like character swapping, the mini games, all that. Um, and having the mini map at the bottom is a nice touch. I don't know. I, I think they both have their place. Just like how the, the 3D All-Star collection has its place on the Switch. Hey, guys. Guys, can we stop that? Alright, um... 
Oh my god, this is... This is bad! Um... Okay, we're up to the head now. Oh, they're... The bugs are defending. Okay, how about... What if I go bat mode? Bad idea to go bat mode. How much... Okay, realistically... Dude was already in pieces. How much can be left of him here? I Okay, the shield potion has worn off and he is still very much alive. Um... We're gonna need that- we're gonna need that meal ticket now, um... I need healing. I need it desperately. Oh my god! Oh, that doesn't actually use the food, it just gives me it! Um, pizza... Um, 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 uh, Grapes. Gotta have- gotta have my grapes. Pot roast? I need the big healing. I'm dying fast. Where was the pot roast? I might have to use... I might have to use one of my big items here. Um... Cause like, I'm really not doing well right now. Here we go. Another high potion. Or, I should probably wait for that to, to go through. Did it? Alright. Dodge the bugs. Okay, we're back to max health. Uh, you know what? I'm just gonna use some items here. I think now is the perfect time. We're getting pretty deep in the game. I mean, we're, we're looking at the finale today. If I'm not using these items now, when am I going to use them? Hit him with the fire boomerang. Alright, here we are. Nope. Oh my god. I just showed him a picture of Dracula and he combusted. In retrospect, maybe I should have just done that in the beginning. I should have just started with, ah, look, it's a picture of your boss. And, uh, there he goes. He's done for. But, all's well that ends well. We did it. We're good. As, uh, bad as that got, all of those bugs hitting me for 52 damage apiece. Jesus creases. Um, we got him. Okay, maybe, maybe I'm just asking for too much, but for a boss fight like that, I got a, a max life potion and a ring. Okay, how good is the Ring of Arcana, actually? Um, increases rare item. Oh, ooh, 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 ooh. actually, hmm. I'm gonna keep that in mind. That could be... That could be something. I could use that. I don't know if I'm gonna, but I could use that. I know I mentioned in a previous stream, my favorite weapon in this game is the, um... It's like a ghost sword that every time you use it, you don't even have to swing it. It just attacks like three times in front of you. I think it's the Chrysagrim. Uh, I want that. I really do want that. Uh, because that would make the rest of the boss fights in this entire game so unbelievably, stupidly easy that they wouldn't even be worth, you know, worrying about. Now, here's the thing. If I were to farm for the Crusade... Help. Rift. Riff, help me. I can't... Whatever that was, never do it again. Riff, there's another one. Could you, um... Could you? Would you? 
Would you be so kind? Um, but the Chrysagrim, in order to get that, it has a comically low drop rate. Goddess shield? Oh. Okay, we can see what that's all about. But I think the Chrysagrim has, um, like a point something drop rate, and it only drops from the schmooze in the inverted library. So I would have to go and farm schmooze over and over and over again and just pray to Cowabunga Christ that I somehow get lucky enough to get the drop. I think there's a save room around here. Uh, there are these guys. I think the... Didn't these guys used to be a boss? Yeah, no, I remember him. Because he did the, uh, the rainbow thing. And now they do one damage. That's rough, buddy. Okay, you're a gotcha, gotcha player, though. Those drop odds mean nothing. Are you really just gonna call me out like that? I mean, you're not wrong. But are you really just gonna... Okay, are they... We're, we're not gonna we're not gonna keep fighting these guys because I think they keep spawning um, Can I uh, can I just get by you? You know, what? I'm just gonna go down here. Don't don't even help riff Nope, that's enough. That's enough of that. That's enough of that. Uh Oh Hello Salem. Hello Salem witch. Could we uh Help me Oh god, help. Nope, missed mode. Not dealing with it. Am not dealing with it. When in doubt, missed mode. Good thing I remembered that uh, invisible floor, or not invisible, fake floor from the normal castle. Katana? Uh, where is the katana? Unsigned katana, two-handed weapon, so... Uh, that would do not a lot for me. It's kind of disappointing, actually. I, I... I figure if they're hiding it behind a fake floor, right? That's got to be a banging katana. Engraved with goddess image. It raises defense by three, but then I lose all my attack. Uh, I have to wait 29 minutes to play Mario Kart. I'm so pissed. I'm sorry to hear that, Ness Enjoyer. Why do you, why do you have to wait to play Mario Kart? You know, I could use the extra defense right now. We might we might swap out the drip. Um this should be good for now, I think. Where do we go from here? Also, is the game that Fenix hard? I really want to play a challenging game. I mean, it's not so much that it's like hard or update. Ah, I gotcha. Um, it's not that it's like unbeatable or hard or something. It's more so, it's like Dark Souls. Where, if it's too hard, you may just need to level more. So you can absolutely power level and over level yourself in this game to the point that, like, nothing... Ah, I knew there was a fake wall up there. Like, if it really comes down to it, you just need to level more. 
which I hope I don't regret saying. I hope I hope I don't need to uh, level more myself. Nope. No, thank you. Is the save room over here? There's a save room somewhere. I, I know that much. Maybe in here? Maybe? Nope. Bitter fly? Alright, uh... Okay, I'm good at leveling up in games. Yeah, then, uh... Riff, what is burning me? It's the goblin button. Okay, yep, these things again. Thank you. Thank you, Dracula. I'm glad you installed the spike Roombas in every room of the castle. Thank you, Dracula. Listen. Dracula. Drac. Can I call you Vlad? Maybe. Maybe if you didn't do, sh like, just, just dumb shit. Like installing spike Roombas in every room of the castle, maybe things would have worked out better with Lisa. Maybe things wouldn't have gone the way they did, Father. I... Hey, I'm just riffing, though. Maybe... Maybe the spike room was played a, uh, a factor in things. That's all I'm trying to say. Dude has at least, what, like, 50 Spike Roombas in his castle? For what? Who comes here except for the Belmonts? I couldn't even get to the ground to hit that fire because the Spike Roomba was there. Okay, the bitter fly. Yep, and into the... Uh, fuck you. Thank you, Riff. Riff, you delightful little peach. Thank you for taking care of the bitter fly that kept knocking me into the spike room, but... Uh, I'm just misting through. I'm not... No, thank you. Alright, here we go. What's up here? Oh, thank you, God. Alright, so we've got most of the main castle mapped out. We do need to get the, uh, what is it, the marble gallery, the, like, maze area mapped. And then we need to go to the catacombs, but I think we're making pretty good progress here. The, catac the, the catacombs are probably going to be the worst part of this. Like, today, I mean. Um, because they are, they're admittedly pretty unforgiving. Uh, we have this whole area mapped out. Good. Uh, if DK is still here, I need to ask them a question. Yep, what's up? How do you join every stream so early? Uh, so I let my mods know when I'm gonna stream. That way, they can be here to, like, keep an eye on chat in case of any unruly business. Very good mods. They stay on top of things. Uh, they are they are worth every cent, but I do not pay them. Does Phoenix have an enemy? Is this where I'm supposed to break out the I have no enemies line? Uh, to my knowledge, I don't have an enemy. Like in, like in a game, like, like, like a game enemy. I'm, I'm fighting a lot of game enemies. The, the Salem witches seem to be a bit of a hassle. If I'm being honest with you, uh, I don't like this big fucking guy. I don't know what his business is. Okay, down here I go. 
Just, just fading away. All right. Bye bye. Um. No, I don't. I don't believe I have an enemy. I may be wrong. There, there could be. I, I could have an enemy trying to run the ones that I just don't know about, but uh, to the best of my knowledge, I don't believe that I have an enemy. Closer than I would have than I would have liked. I remember when the Cthulhu's used to be a threat. I uh it seems like they go down super easy now. Same with the lesser demons. Like they really used to be a, a, a force to be reckoned with. And now it's just like, oh yeah, there's 20 of this guy again. Another save room, hey. Don't mind if I do. Alright, now let's get let's get to business, shall we? Catacombs, Marble Gallery, and where else? There's definitely somewhere else I need to cover today. No, pardon me. I'm just... Yep, thank you. Good afternoon, Finn and Chet. Good afternoon, no username. Thank you so much for being here. Welcome to the stream. We are uh, working on finishing up Castlevania. We still have uh, a bit to do, at least half of the map still to uncover. But we're making good progress and good time, I think. All right, another save room. Shit, I just realized that the Switch light screen is as big as an iPhone 6. That seems kind of small. Like, not to dog on the Switch or anything, but the iPhone 6 was like, what, eight or nine iterations ago? And they keep making the screens bigger. Could they not have... Could they not have made the Switch screen bigger? Oddly specific unit of measurements. Uh, Americans will do absolutely anything and everything to avoid using the metric system. I'm not against that. I, I, if anything, I enjoy it. I love the news headlines that uh, involve absolutely the, the most insane ways of describing measurement. Like, no, don't tell me how many liters something is. Don't tell me how many meters something is. No. Tell me how many... How many Capri Suns worth of liquid is it? How many... How many wooden barrels stacked on top of each other? Like, high is it? How many Gorilla Punches strong is it? Explain things to me, not just in ways that I can, and like, imagine in funny ways. It, explain them to me in ways that are better than just being like, oh, meter, that converts to, uh, you know... I, I don't care. I, I do not care. Give me funny measurements. That's all I'm asking for. Scientifically, make them amusing. 62 Capri Suns. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I like to see. You make money. One dollar at a time. 
you know, all those places that Dracula keeps just like a thousand dollars or four hundred dollars lying around in the normal castle, you think he would keep all of the big money bags in the inverted castle where no one ever goes. Like, I can't help but notice there's no Belmont here. There's no people in general here. It's just me and the monsters that live here. And they're not taking the money. All I'm saying is this is a, a prime real estate location for Dracula's money. Because you know he's not going to the bank. Okay, I, I will. I, okay, there's the library card right in between the spike Roombas. Fuck you, Dracula. And here come the Medusa heads. Because suffering is nothing if not eternal. I hate the Medusa heads. Least favorite enemy in the entire game. Closely followed by the flea men. I do hate the flea men. But God, Jesus, Breezes, I hate the Medusa heads. Very nice. Thank you. Thank you. Now, what do we have over here? Not a whole heck of a lot. Cool. But we are... We are mapping the place out. That is very important. Can't complain too much. We're doing what we need to do. Because in order to get the, uh, the good ending of the game... What is it? We need like 197%, I think, done? Somewhere around there. Like, you don't need the full 200. Uh, 200... 200.6%, I think, is the max you can get in the game, which is fucking silly. Um, I think that's with, like, hidden walls, though. Um... Hey. Don't do that. Yeah. Show them who's boss, Riff. Alright, that's it for this area. But yeah, I think in order to get the good ending, we need like 196, 197% completion. Which I know you can check somewhere, but I do not remember where. System? No? Um. Familiars? Is it somewhere on this screen that I'm not seeing? Rooms 15, 19. It tells me how many rooms I've been in. That's a fun statistic. All right, what do we have down here? Oh, dear. Perhaps uh, more than I bargained for down here. Concerningly straightforward. I'm not. I'm not complaining. I will gladly take straightforward rather than a uh, hundred different hallways where I don't know where anything is. Okay, here we are again. Oh, I don't like these. I do not enjoy the butterflies. Super jump. Nope. Rift, do your thing. Thank you, Rift. This is why. This is why, Rift. This is why you're here. To handle the real problems. No. Whatever that is, I hate it. Another $400. I just want to know why. Turquoise? Okay, more stuff to sell. Make sure we get the whole area scouted out here. Well... Thank you, Riff. I wonder, would I be able to see them if I put the holy glasses on again? Because that's supposed to help me see through, like, illusions and curses and whatever, right? No. 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 here. A lot 
more fire. Probably another gremlin. Look who it is. Alright, so that connects over there. So we're going to go back this way. See, we're making... Oh, shit. I have to go back to that room, like, down and to the right of me. The chapel, that's where that is. That's the chapel. Okay, I'm gonna have to go back to the chapel at some point. Um, unfortunate, but th that's fine. I can work with that. That's okay. I don't know how I'm gonna check what my uh, map completion percentage is. I might have to go back to the, like, save game menu for that. Because that's the only place I can think of where it tells you how much of the map you've unlocked. For now, though, we're just going to keep on trucking. We're going to stay the course. We're going to do what we need to do. Back through the floating skeleton room. Very, very fancy, very quality decor that, uh... Dracula has going on here. Nope. I'm just gonna head on over. Don't even mind me. Just act like I'm not here. Oh, the clock room. And these guys. I forgot. 77 damage. I forgot about these guys. Nope. No, no, no. No, no. Okay. Um, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna mist right on by. Just right on up and over. I don't need that 77 damage shit going on. That's okay, that's alright. I'm, I'm better off without that, thank you. Uh, I'm trying to get gold Mario, so this is gonna take a long ass time. Well, we're gonna be here for a while. Nope. No, that's okay. Good form, good swings, big swords, lots of fire. Very intimidating, very, very threatening. Thank you. Ah, the god. Oh, the spike rumors. This is why your wife left you, Dracula. Vlad, you son of a bastard. Why does the spike Roomba attack backwards? There's no spikes on that side, it's just a Roomba. I, I, I believe, I wholeheartedly be Oh, fuck you. Nope, I see the spike Roombas, you can't hide them. I, I'm willing to believe that Lisa went and got burned at the stake because it was preferable. Uh, to living in the house with Spike Roombas. Are there Spike Roombas? Okay, no, we're good. You know, playing this makes me miss uh, the Castlevania TV series, or not TV series, the series they had on Netflix. The first few seasons were really, really good. And then, um, they just started freestyling. They just started doing some weirdo shit with the, uh, the animated series. But seasons one through, I think, three? Bangers. Back to back to back bangers. Speaking of bangers, hello, save room. Right. Now we're ready for the catacombs. We may be ready for the catacombs. God, I hope I'm ready. I, I may not be. I may not be as ready as I would hope. But I'm gonna do my best and that's all I can do here. Uh, I remember hearing the animated series went fucking insane and not in a good way. Ah, you know... 
Is this gonna be a is this gonna be a hot controversial take? Am I allowed to say this? Um I, I don't know how hardcore the uh, Castlevania series fans are, but I wanna I, I'm just gonna give my opinion. I am I am not I've never created a series, so I cannot speak as a professional. But in my opinion, the first three seasons went hard as fuck. I think they were absolutely amazing. They did a great job of, uh, of adapting. Well, not adapting, but... They kind of did their own thing, but they did it really well. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, and then... I don't know what they were doing or why. I... I we got to season four... And it feels like it kind of just lost track on what was going on with any of its characters. Um, because I can't say more. I can't say more without giving major spoilers. And I would feel like such an asshole if, you know, I gave spoilers to someone who wanted to watch it and had not watched it yet. So I'll leave it at that. I enjoyed the first few seasons, and then I dropped it at about season four. And then, uh, I had a buddy of mine kept watching it after that, and occasionally just kind of filled me in on, like, hey, Fenix, uh, they're doing weirdo shit now. And I thought, I thought he was just fucking with me at first, and then I looked it up, and no. They really did. They really did just decide to make choices. I can't go into specifics without giving spoilers. I'm sorry. I, I, I feel bad for not saying more. I think... Uh, Alucard was portrayed in a way that I think was very appropriate for Alucard. Trevor had a great, you know, character growth uh, of showing how he went from like, yeah, he is the shittiest Belmont ever to kind of, you know, really fitting into the role. And, uh, oh god, what's her name? Sifa? Sifa was... She's okay. She's there. She does stuff. She's 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 not a bad character. That's not what I'm saying. Um, she just wasn't really the best part of it. Then again, like obviously, my favorite parts of playing Castlevania were, you know, playing as the Belmonts, playing as Alucard. So Sifa kind of just feels like a side character, you know? Oh dear. Nope, that's a bad idea. Uh, this is a save room, I think, right? Splendid. Because if I remember right, we're coming up on the boss fight room where the big scary snake was. And I would rather not... I would rather not do that again without saving first. Uh, there are also like the ice demons down here. At least I know where I'm at. Oh, and there was a fake... Yeah. There we go. Uh, so let's go in the big snake room first. You're not a big snake. Piece of shit. No, I do that. You don't do that. Did he try to turn into a bat to hit me and then just reverted back when he realized he couldn't? Fuck you, dude. But also, he's only doing one damage. This is light work. Lightweight, no reaction. Just run into the fire, you fucker. Mm. 
I would be a lot more intimidated. Uh, good evening, everyone. Sorry I missed last night's stream. I was working. No worries, Alpha Violence. Uh, believe it or not, there actually wasn't a stream last night. And even if there was, there's no worries. If you've ever got stuff going on and you can't make it, like, don't even worry about it. And if you ever want to catch up on any of the streams that you might miss, all streams are automatically archived and will be available uh, on the channel. But, all that aside, welcome to the stream. Happy to have you here. Well, there he goes. Weak ass. Like, how are you gonna be my doppelganger and do one damage per hit? Brother, you're making me look bad. Step it up. Hit the gym. Get some better weapons. Go, go farm the schmooze. Do something. But, that is another- Oh, go, oh, no, whoop, there we go. That is another boss out of the way. We're, we're running out of castle and we are running out of bosses. Five away from 100 subs, sweet man. Thank you so much, Alpha Violence, yeah. We are five away now. I'm, I'm, oh my god! Hey guys. What is this? What is this? Okay, here's a here's a safe spot. Oh my god, this is This is something. This is a room. Yeah, we're going to we're going to just use some holy water here. But yeah, I'm really hoping to hit 100 soon. I'm, I'm very excited. Uh, obviously, you know, I know that is a, a smaller milestone for YouTube subs. But it's insane to me. You know, it was insane to me when I hit 50. I just, you know, when I started doing this, I was worried that nobody was ever going to have any interest in it. Like, it just wasn't going to take off. So to hit 100, as small of a milestone as that may be, is still really special to me and i'm hoping we can keep going from there you know 100 200 500 a thousand i'm hoping it's all uphill from here i'm gonna keep doing it i'm gonna keep at it i'm gonna keep streaming what are you dark blade now this this is some edgy shit. i can get behind this uh where is the dark blade did I pass it? I might have. No, there it is. Uh, sword forged by elves. Oh. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, that increases my attack by three. But my current sword is poisoned. Um, how do I want to do this? Also, it's very warm in here. One second, I'm take my hoodie off all right I think I'll stick with the terminus est for now if I need to swap to the dark blade then I will but I think I think where we're at I think what we're doing is working also oh god all of those those octopi will have respawned in the other room so we're gonna yes gentlemen as you were See, those three aren't that bad. In here is where it goes crazy. Um, I'm not trying to deal with all that, if I'm being honest with you. Alright, so that's all of this mapped out. Now into the second basement. I believe this is the way to the catacombs. Perhaps, possibly, maybe. Oh no, the catacombs are uh, under the bridge. That's right. So where does this go? I forget who's down. Oh, this goes to the um the spike the place with the spike armor, right? Oh dear. Could you just uh thank you? I love the inverted water. Like it's so weird. 
you know how the water is just suspended up here but I really do like it. I think it's 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 neat how they do that. Like it just makes me wonder how this how this works even. A cave troll? Alright, bye bye. Oh, what is that? What are you? Mana Prism? I don't Does that like restore magic maybe? I do need to... Oh, that, that is something down there, actually. Is that... What is the... What? What is with the tongue attack from the, the cave troll? That's not something I would expect from a cave troll. Do I just not have a good understanding of what cave trolls are and, like, what they do? Is a tongue attack normal? Also, I totally skipped mapping out this section over here. I want to catch this stuff while I'm still here. I don't want to... Can I not map it? Oh. Um... Yeah, maybe I can't. That's a bit of a problem. Um... Hmm. It is... it is what it is, I guess. We just can't map that right there. I'm not gonna be able to map... yeah, not over here either. Shit, man, that kind of sucks. I need to complete the map so I can get the good ending. What, uh, what am I supposed to do with that? Wait, this is kind of working. It's not gonna work here, is it? Maybe? No, yeah, it's not working. Alright, that's, that's fine, I guess. We don't need perfect- Oh, my dear. Okay. Good enough. Though I should try to map out as much as I can. So we are going to come back in here real quick. That's better. That's more like it. There we go. We got that. We have that side at least. It's something. Also, Rift, how are you staying on fire underwater? You are a fascinating creature. Force of Echo? What is Force of Echo? Attack with radar waves. Alright, yeah, sounds sick. Alright, yeah, I can get down with that. Now we've mapped out everything here. Back the way we came. I love that I just run so fast that it counts as an attack on its own. Uh-oh. Oh my god, what was he doing? Bro was glitching out back there. I, I'm concerned for his well-being. Not enough to stop. I, I'm not that concerned. I am gonna keep going, but I hope he's all right. He, he was kind of fucking losing it. All right, so that's everything down here. Now to make our way over to the waterfall and then down to the catacombs. Actually, you know what? While we're here, I totally, I skipped right past where I was going, didn't I? $400, yes please, thank you. Where 
was the other... I missed it? Where is it? There's a doorway here. Or there's supposed to be. Yeah, there's nothing here. Because over here was the, uh... Or am I thinking of the wrong place? I might be in the wrong place, actually. As always, I may... I may perhaps... I may sometimes be wrong. These things happen. I'm doing my best just to remember how the castle is normally, so I can try to in apply that to how it is inverted. Uh, let's go ahead and jump up here. I hate these balloon pod things. I, uh... I get they're not supposed to be on my side, but I don't like that they do the things that they do. Alright. Nope, we're gonna... We're going bat mode. This is the easiest way to go up. Can I just tank my way through the pods? Do I have to wait for them to fall every single time? I bet if I really applied myself... I, yeah, they're doing one damage, but they poison me. I don't think the poison is that big of a deal. Again, not ideal, but not a day ruiner. meal tickets. Hello. Don't, don't mind if I do. Now that I know how the meal ticket works, I should maybe do it when I'm not in the middle of a boss fight. Also, hello, save room, my beloved. I didn't even realize we broke 500 health. We are... We are strong now. Oh, this is where... Remember, because this was a fake save room and then we had to fight the, uh, the succubus? Yeah, so I guess we did find what we were looking for. Alright. Back to the cave. I'm just... Oh... That's the problem with the pods. They apply knockback. You know what? What if I, uh... What if I give them one of these? It's all fun and games till I go mist mode on them. Monsters in this castle are prepared for a lot of things, but not the old vampire vapor. Alright, now I have to get all the way back back up there. Ah, oh, jeez. Alright. That's fine. Slowly but surely. Before we go too deep in the caves, I should get this other this other room over. There's no way, I'm going to call it right now. There's no way I'm going to get one, well not 100%, that doesn't apply to this game. I'm not going to get the entire map, uh, you know, cleared out. I don't want to go giving the impression that I, that I am. But, I do very much want to get as much of the map as I can. Also, I just took on like three layers of poison and I'm perfectly fine. Maybe poison is, uh. Maybe it's overrated. Thank you, Rip. Oh, what are you? Bubble? Wasn't there a fake wall here? No, I guess not. Alright. Back to the cave. You know, we've been listening to this music for a minute now. Uh, and it's not that I don't... It's not that I don't like it. But I would perhaps enjoy uh, 
uh, something different. So I am looking forward to going into the catacombs. The music down there is creepy, but it's fitting, and I, I definitely like it. All of the music in this game. I know I've said it before, but the music in this game is so good. And uh, speaking of music in this game, I'm going to do something I perhaps shouldn't. Uh, but when we get to the credits, I'm just going to let the credit song play. It, it's too good for me to skip. I would be a monster if I skip the credit song. You know what? I'm just going to... Yep, here we go. Thank you, actually. That that helped. Is that a killer fish? That's a killer... That was a killer fish. That's a killer fish. Only five damage, though. Ugh. I remember when killer fish used to be a real killer. Did what, like 50 damage a hit? What's down here? Nothing. Cool. Back the way we came. So, the reason that the credit song is going to be kind of a bigger deal than all the other music is because it is a... It's an actual song. Hey, you know what? No, stop that. And put your titty nipples away. This is going on YouTube. I can't. I can't have that shit. Thank you. It kind of worked. It, it, it kind of worked. It's fine. Though I am taking. I am taking some real damage here. This is getting a bit. Uh, it's getting a little high killer fish. Is this cause I is this cause I talk shit about you not being a, a real killer anymore? Because if so, I, I understand. I talk shit, that's on me. Where did uh did Riff get him? Riff might have killed the killer fish. Because Riff is a real killer. Uh, all right, no, that's fine. We're figuring it out. Potion. But yeah, the uh, the ending song is a real song. Not to say the music in this game is in all real songs. I mean, like, with lyrics. Uh, but it's sang, sung, sang, 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 sung. Uh, the song is performed by Cynthia Harrow, who is perhaps better known for doing the opening theme of uh, Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater. She is the one that performs the ending song for this game. Uh, I'm not gonna be able to get to her, am I? You know what? I'm just going up here. Forget you, lady. Have you heard of that new movie, Late Night with the Devil? I have not. Uh, enlighten me. What is it? I I don't think I've ever heard of this. Oh, hey, it's this guy. Remember when he was a boss? Oh, and listen to this new music. Oh, that's gotta hurt. Guy used to be a boss. Now he's doing one damage. Just that it's getting media attention. Okay, so I'm I'm out of the loop here. I have never heard of this. What? If not, I highly recommend it if you like horror. Um. So I don't know if I've ever mentioned, and this may be a bit surprising looking at some of the games I've played on the channel. Um. I am not good with horror. I uh. I am very much. It's a wild ride, man. So hard to explain. Just a great horror movie. Okay. Um, yeah, I'll look into it. So, I've mentioned before on the channel, I'm not great with horror. Um, made 666000 at the box office. Appropriate. That's appropriate for a horror movie about the devil. Oh, is this a boss fight room? This feels like a boss fight. Oh, hey, death. Um, 
do I have to? Like, that dude's the fucking Grim Reaper. Do I have to fight him? Death Incarnate, that's... I'm going one... I'm running the ones with him. Alright, yeah, why not? Hey, big dog, remember when you took all my shit? So, you've made it this far. In the name of your father, cease this foolishness. Not while there's a breath in my body. Then for the master, I'll feast on your soul this night. Alright, immediately less imposing than I... Okay, you know, I feel like talking shit's gonna get me in trouble. What is he casting? He's casting skulls! He's casting reverse riff on me! Alright, okay, 35, that's... Riff killed him. Okay, Riff killed his first form, but we're not done yet. Riff, keep cooking him. Look at Riff go. 25 damage a piece, Riff. That's my boy. Oh, okay. Second form. Is there a third form? Riff's back on him already. Riff's not done yet. He's still cooking him. Riff, my baby boy, he's dead. Y you killed him. All right, what did we get? The eye, the eye of Dracula, eye of Vlad, plus 10 luck. Yeah. Listen, I wasn't planning on doing this, but if I get any more luck stuff, we might go spend some time farming the uh, the schmooze in the library so I can try to get the Chrysagrum. Uh... It's a small movie. It takes place on a single set, a late night show where they essentially invite a girl who is demon possessed to demonstrate her possession and shit hits the fan. Oh, yeah, that sounds like some exorcist shit. Uh, oh, I'm so in. Do it, buddy. So worth the price of admission. So I like horror. I, I like some horror. I'm just not usually... Oh, do I need to get the, uh... Riff, you're, you're going in the vault for just a second. Uh... Or no, I need this guy. I'm ready to serve, master. Love the enthusiasm. Do you want to push that button down there? Do you want to get that guy? Hmm. This switch hasn't been pressed yet. Yeah, that a boy. That a boy. That's what I like to see. All right, now back in the vault you go, Riff. Here comes the boy. <laughs> Oh yeah, Slagra. He uh, he was the other boss with the uh, G Gabron. This guy, Gaibon. Gaibon and Slagra. What a pair. It's my new favorite sitcom on NBC. Um, was there a point? Oh! Hello. Another, uh, another painting of Dracula and a life apple. Sick. Slogger sounds like an insult, so does Gaibon. I mean, if something's a slog, like, it's it's not an insult, but it's just like, it's like slogging through something, you know, it's very tedious and unpleasant. Gaibon, I don't know, neither of them really hit me, like, they could just... I feel like they okay, where did my where did my holy water go? I picked up the axe and the holy water just 
fucking vanished. Cool. I'm glad we, uh... Okay. I'm just gonna keep going up. I'm not dealing with all the bats. Which, you know, I will credit where credit is due. I feel like this is absolutely an appropriate number of bats uh, for Dracula's castle. Th this is a number of bats I would expect going into Dracula's castle. That I, I cannot complain about that. Oh, there's a save room over here, right? I think. Is this where the save room is, please? Or a teleporter. This is where the teleporter is. Yeah! Good. Good, good, good. Uh, come here, you. Why, uh, why can't I hit? There we go. Alright. You know, I think we really- Okay. I think we really are making good time. If we can get through the catacombs fast enough. Oh, Alucard Sword. Does that do more damage? Oh. Why does it lower my defense? Listen, 10 more damage though. I can't. Yeah, so the Terminus S just gives plus two defense. Why, why does... Alright, you know what, whatever. Doesn't matter. That aside. Uh, it's a better sword. I'm gonna take it. Now we're running the, uh, the cannon, Alucard, cape, and sword. I imagine the shield will be around here somewhere, right? But that extra bit of damage, I feel like, is gonna... It's gonna go a long way. At least I hope. I'm just flying up. I'm not even dealing with all the... The corpse weed here. Or thorn weed. Alright, over... Yes? Maybe? Yes? Is this the catacombs proper? If so, I'm gonna go back and get the, uh, the other room. This is the catacombs proper. We're going back. Uh, let me get caught up on chat here, too. Uh, let me see if my friend is available for an IMAX showing of Hereditary with me in April. Doing a limited theater run at Alpha Violence. Don't know if you've ever seen. I haven't, but it's on my list. I may just go and see it in theaters. Waiting for tickets to go on sale. Saw it at the first theater run, so I'll try to get back again. Any movie in IMAX is just a secure watching experience. It's a very visually impactful movie to say least, so IMAX is going to make it even more safe. And that's IMAX I haven't seen since I was a kid in elementary school on a field trip. I, I love what's going on in chat right now. I, I love, you know, seeing the, the horror movie discussion. Um... Yeah, Ari Aster. Ari Aster movies. Ooh, doggy. Um, very much not movies for people that... Hey, hey, hey. Not movies for people that can't do horror. IMAX is insane, though. I remember... Um, what was the last movie I saw in IMAX? It may have been one of the Star Wars movies, actually. Oh, this is some unpleasant music going on. De Hello, ma'am. Okay, no, you are not. You are unpleasant. Salem, you're you're not just a Salem witch. You are Salem. Oh, cute black cat though. I don't want to hit the black cat. Okay, uh, I'm gonna need to miss through there. They are. They're kicking my ass. And I haven't found a save room. Actually, you know what? We're gonna go over here, because I know there's a save room over here. Uh, and they're kind of jumping the shit out of me. <clears throat> no.
never seen an actual film in one though. Only a little educational video since I was there for Bear. Magic missile. And a buffalo star. <clears throat> Excuse me. Alright. Now into the pit. That's quite all right. No, thank you. This cat is determined. Map. All right, there we go. Catacombs got me feeling spooky. Understandable. This is a spooky place. So I need to get holy water. Um, I am a little concerned. That's not... Neither of those were what I asked for. I'm keeping the axe for now. Um, I die for an IMAX run of Midsommar. That's another one of my list this year. That's a mind fuck. I didn't know a dark magician girl got to start in Castlevania. Yeah, apparently! So, so, with a lot more psychological hard than anything. Okay, D Dracula just has magical girls in his basement. Wh why are all of these witches and wizards down here fucking around right now? Hey. Oh, god damn it. She dropped a weapon and I missed it because Salem had to be a fucking problem. Oh, dearie dear. Nope. Thorn Spike Breaker, that's what it is. Help me. That's what I like to see. I'm breaking all of them. Not because I need to, but because I wanna I wanna send a, a message. Jiminy Criminy, come on. Just breaking spikes to this, like, insane music. Like, this is on somebody's Spotify playlist to lose their fucking mind to. Let's... No. Just die. Just die. Just die. Good. You know what? She didn't even die. She just turned into a cat. Fair enough. That's fine. I, that, I can live with that. What did I... Oh! I got a, I got a special attack with this sword. Please, just a, a crumb. A drop of holy water, if you would please. Karma coins. Okay. That'll do. Resist potions. Those will also do. I'll take good things. I would just also maybe like some holy water, if we could. Red bean bun. Closer, maybe? Oh, they're, they're popping back up quick. Um... Keep it moving. Coming through. One side. What is back here? If elixir and a library card. Yeah. Yeah. That's none of what I needed. I mean, the library card is nice. Uh, I will take the opportunity. Before we finish the game, I will go to the library again just to sell my stuff and buy whatever I can. Um, but, like, we're really at the end of the line here. Um, so here's my plan, okay? Hear me out on this one. I'm going to kill all of the bosses that I can find. 
Which realistically means I'm gonna kill every boss except for Dracula. Then... Also, walk armor, my beloved. It is so stupidly strong because I've unlocked so much of the map. 44 defense, yes! Um... So I'm gonna kill all the bosses, right? I'm then going to go to the inverted library and I'm going to equip the Alucard uh, stuff and the Ring of Arcana and I'm going to try to farm out the Chrysagrim. Like, I cannot overstate how good the Chrysagrim is. Like, it is so unbelievably stupidly strong. Like, every time you swing the sword, like, that's one hit. Every time you do one hit with the Chrysagrim, you are doing three hits. That is a whole ass, that is a, help me. Rip, rip, rip. This bitch is crazy, I'm out of here. No thank you. Nah, I'm missed mode, I'm gone. I'm not dealing with that. And that was with my best armor on. If I did not put on the walk armor, there's a very real chance that would have killed me. Oh my god, there's so many bats. Um We're going to go save actually. We're going to go we're going to do a little saving. We are going to just pop right No. Save room. Save room it is. Uh, I didn't know... I didn't know the magical girls in, uh, in Dracula's basement could do that. Just call in a screen-wide magic ice attack. Um... I got lucky. I got lucky I put on my best armor. I got lucky I missed, or most of those attacks missed me. That could have been so much worse. I'm not dealing with the bats either. They didn't do anything, they're just bats. What the fuck, man? Like, Vlad, I don't want to judge, man, but... Clean up every once in a while, for fuck's sake. Oh, no, no, no. No, no, no. Bye-bye. None of that shit. Fool me once. Uh, so if you remember, this was the lava room. And I believe it is now acid? Slime? Uh, Gak? It's something. Uh, turns out Nickelodeon sourced all of the slime that they ever used from the bottom of Dracula's castle. Fun fact for you, a few people know that. Shield potion and attack potion. If I, if I can, I want to save that for the last fight. I don't like the arrow pointing back here. What are, what are you? What is this? Necklace of J? Who's J? Dracula? Like the denim Dracula? Uh, necklace of J plus five defense. Oh. You're something. Uh, improve status after sunset. I don't know what that means, actually. Uh, I don't know what the moonstone does for me, so I'm gonna try equipping this. Yeah, it looks like the Necklace of Jay is doing more for me than uh, the Moonstone. So, I'm keeping it. Vladimir Tepish. That's, that's his real name. He just changed it because it sounds better with a B. People kept fucking with him. Ah, don't get mad, get glad. 
Okay, I love the enthusiasm, Alucard, but I'd like you to keep moving, not just sort of move and then come back. Dracula Christ. <laughs> Another save room. Don't mind if I do. Yeah, that's his that's his real name, Dracula Christ Superstar. You gotta say the whole like the whole thing. Like bad to the bone riff. Another diamond. I have so many diamonds. The librarian is gonna shit. Or he could at least drop Dracula's cape. That was one of the items I was trying to get, and uh, he never dropped it. Oh, this is the boss fight room, isn't it? This is where I had to fight the guy that dropped like a million dead bodies. Um, don't make me fight him again. Hey. What's up? Oh my god. Oh, okay, one damage? For real? <laughs> Get him, Rip. Okay, 43. Okay, whip. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I, 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 I did a little fucking around and I shouldn't have. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I will not laugh. I'm sorry. Please don't hurt me. Uh, I thought, I thought he was going to do one damage. And then he started doing more. Okay, we're getting there. We're getting there. Riff. Keep the pressure on, Riff. Okay, nope. Missed mode. What are you hitting? What are you shooting at? It ain't me. Nope. I'm going over here, you big dingus. Cry about it. Okay, or punt me backwards into the wall. That is also acceptable. Rip at a boy right on the right on the ankle. There you go, Rip. Twist the ankle. I might need to heal. Um, you know, I'm gonna play it safe. I am uh, gonna do a little. We're gonna do a little bit of uh, pod roast. Okay. Oh, that lowered my defense because I took the shield off. I'm sorry. My bad. Stop. Please. Okay, I need... I need the real shit. I need high potions. I need elixirs. I need something. Um, where's the elixir? There's the elixir. Good, 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 good. All right, um, shield. Please, shield. Medusa shield. All right, there it is. This is fucking nuts, man. How much health does he have? I've done at least a thousand damage by now. I know I have. Right at the ankle. Riff showed me. Riff showed me the way. Please stop hitting me. Please stop. Stop shooting your fucking energy balls at me. How do you have that and Dracula doesn't? He's just got the little fireballs. Are you keeping this from Dracula? Riff, riff, riff. I'm running out of magic. I'm not gonna be able to dodge the uh, the electro balls after I run out. Riff, I need you to cook him, please. I've done well over a thousand damage now. I've done so much fucking damage. Oh my god, how fucking strong is he? I, I'm doing 56 damage per hit. Can I just point that out? 
That is 56 damage per hit. And, uh... Nope. All of these hits... Oh, that's it for my magic. I'm so fucked. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm running dry. That's it. I'm out. Die, die, die. Riff. I gotta use another potion. Holy shit, I, I'm probably doing about 2,000 damage at this point. Why is he not dead? Okay, alright, I have a plan. I have a plan. I have a plan. Hear me out on this one. First move. Step number one. If I can find it. Step number one. I know I have one. I know it's here. Um... Mm -mm -mm. Uh, attack potion. Step number one, right? Step number two. Where? I know it's here. Elixir. Breaking out another one of these bad boys. <laughs> And not a second too soon, holy shit. Um, step three. For the sake of defense, I'm going to equip... Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? The best shield I have. Uh, the goddess shield. Because the Medusa shield does damage. The goddess shield has higher defense. So now I'm going to take less damage overall. Um... I gotta just hit him and pray. I'm doing 76 damage per hit. I can't, I can't fucking dodge him until my magic. This is so bullshit, dude. Stop spamming the same Fucking attack, you cunt! Okay, it has a range. That. Oh, this sucks. Oh, this sucks. Literally, how much more can I do? I. I'm hitting him with everything I've got and more. This is fucking insane. This might be the hardest boss fight in the entire game. Or at least the most damage resistant one. Where did the goddess shield go? Um, I unequipped it. There we go. Nope. Pull me once, motherfucker. And the attack potion wore off, so now I need to just... I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die because this motherfucker has a billion... A billion health! How much health does he have? I gotta use the last elixir, it's my only hope. Like, I simply cannot do this otherwise. Eat my ass and nuts, dude. Okay. Okay, we have a... We have something here. Until he gets closer. Die, 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 Am I getting fucking trolled right now? You don't get to have this much health. 
Fucking Dracula doesn't have this much health, dude. Oh my god. Holy shit. Oh my god. How much health does... I'm looking that up right now. How much health did bro have? No, we're we're doing a we're doing research right now. How much health? What was his name? Gal Galamoth? No, I'm looking this up right now. Uh How much health did Brody have? I I'm looking this up. Because that was fucking insane. All the health. Wonderful Bengus, you're not far off. Like, that took... Not only was he doing enough damage to constantly have me close, like, with my best armor... He was taking like an eighth of my health every fucking time. I'm sorry it's taking so long for me to look this up, but uh, CAPTCHA is the worst thing that humanity has ever invented. Uh, and, I, and I hope the guy that invented it knows that every single day. Holy Jesus. Do you guys want to know? Do you guys want to know how much health that motherfucker just had? How... Do you want to know how much HP Gallimoth had? 12,000 HP. Twelve thousand HP. That's what we just had to deal with right there. 12,000. I have 600 now. Uh, at the start of the fight, I had 580-something, I think. <clears throat> 12,000 HP. Go fuck yourself. 12,000 HP. I did 50 damage a hit. 12,000 HP. My... Gas cloud? Oh! I... Why, though? Do I attack enemies now in my mist form? Am I like a poisonous gas cloud? Gas cloud. Transform into poisonous... Okay, yeah. And there's only one thing I don't have at this point. Um, I don't know where to get the last one. Where do I... Haven't I been everywhere? Or I thought I'd... Haven't I? Am I confused? Because there's five things for, for Dracula, right? I haven't been to the entrance. Maybe it's there. Um, could be something. Maybe. I don't know. Uh, let's go. 12,000 minus 50. 240 times you had to hit that big bastard. Uh, not exactly 240. Remember Riff was putting in work. But Riff was only doing, I think, four damage per hit. But yeah, there's only one relic in the entire game I don't have. So let's go check the entrance and see if it's there. I'm also going to save because holy moly mother of Christ, I'm not doing that again.
Oh, we do need to... Hold up. Wait a minute. Gotta map this up here. Yeah, we got it. This is a save room, right? Oh, thank God. Alright, I think I know where I need to go. Um, I wonder what I still need. So, here's the thing. I think that might have been the last boss, um, aside from Dracula. So here's the plan. We're gonna finish mapping out as much of the castle as we can. And then we're gonna head to the library, sell stuff, buy stuff. Then we're going to head to the inverted library and try to farm out the Chrysagrim. And then we are gonna finish things by killing Dracula. That's the plan on paper, at least. If that's how it is gonna go, we'll see. But that is my plan as of right now at the very least. No more magical girls. We're done here. Mat oh. Fine. Skeletons are fine. I can I can work with skeletons. You know what? It I gotta go all that way. Eh, I guess it's not that far. There's a teleporter room right ahead. They're just throwing they're just throwing skeleton heads at me. They're just throwing skulls. I guarantee they took those from skeletons that kinda needed them. Alright. Creepy music. Very nice, very ominous. But where I need to go is right over... I'm not even... Oh, yeah! Okay, maybe I judged the cloud too quickly. We might be cooking now. Take me up. Uh, incorrect. Next one. I need to finish mapping the entrance and the chapel. We're kind of, kind of close. Sort of. There is stuff here I need to map out. I guess I can take the long way there. Ah, no, let's get the entrance first. We can finish this stuff up later. This one... Uh, nope. Next one. This one. Yes, this one. Oh, I need to find holy water, too. I totally forgot about that. I guarantee if I had some holy water, I would not have had such a bad time with Gatlamon. Is that talisman cool Jesus poison cloud just made that dude explode oh right I need to explore all of it okay that's fine take the long way some quick exploration
More life. Always appreciated. Alright, now up to the entrance. Oh my god, I totally forgot. We have to, uh... The waterfall area. We never finished mapping out the underground. That's fine. That actually... That works out very nice. Dragon Rider? Is that just a... Is that a fucking flea man on a dragon? There he goes. Bye-bye. Alright, so up there is where I need to go. Gotta get the pot roast. Can't ever forget about the pot roast. Another Terminus S. Like, I'm not even using the first one I have anymore. Um, I'm probably not gonna... Oh my god! Oh, hi, Holy Water. Uh, so I've been joking about that green skeleton that fires the laser a lot, but he hit me once with that laser, and it did 90... Seven damage. Um, I perhaps am going to take the green skeletons a bit more seriously now. Um, 97 damage with my best armor on. That's, that's bad. That is a problem. All that for a fire boomerang? There's gotta be another... No, all that for a fire boomerang. Okay. Alrighty. Cool. Uh, but I have a plan for getting past the skeletons. Now check this out. I'm just gonna... You love to see it. Everyone just explodes in my wake. Alright, let's go hit the entrance real quick and we'll come back for the underground. Library card to the normal library. Teleporter back. No! Library card to the normal library. Do our thing. Come back to the inverted castle. What is a ward? I mean, it's, it's big, so I guess it wasn't anything too crazy. Why do these skeletons have such a, 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 a grand command over lightning? How do they do that? How do they do that much damage? I am astounded. Anti-venom, hammer. Well, that's the entrance. What do we have? We've got about an hour left of the stream. That's more than enough time. We can make that happen. I do want to find that last thing, too. I don't think... Because I think there's only five pieces of Dracula, if I remember right. So I think that might be a familiar that I never found. Um, I have the fairy. I have the ghost. I have the demon. Um, did I ever get the sword? I might need the sword one. That one is... Uh, fuck. I don't know where the sword is, actually. I could probably figure it out. Maybe. Oh, there's no mermen here. That's nice. Don't need the stopwatch. Thank you, though. I'm quite happy with the holy water. Back to the underground. Back to this music. Gotta love it. I don't hate the music. I just... There's only so much you want to hear one song at the same time. Ah, look at these idiots. Alright. Uh, what is... It 
says there's a hole in the floor, and there's not. Why? I am so confused. There was an attempt. I saw the attempt. Oh, hey, and here's the waterfall. I think there's an... 2,000! 2,000? Yo! Oh, hi, killerfish. One bag of money had $2,000 in it. Okay, you know, maybe I judged Dracula too quickly. He he had the vision. Here's the Alucard shield. But Dracula had the vision. He kept he kept the real money in the inverted castle. I respect it. Guarantee that shit's safer than any bank or it was safer. It's not anymore. I mean, it's mine now. It's, it's going right to the librarian, but before that, that shit was safe, I guarantee it. And there's no waterfall down. I mean, there's a waterfall, it just doesn't go anywhere. Like, I guess that's fine. You don't need a waterfall in the upside down castle, you, you, you only need the, the other one. I guess I'm just kind of surprised that it's not the same. Or am I just not in the right area? It's entirely possible I may just be getting confused by, uh, by Dracula's castle. Castlevania, it does that. I cannot overstate the fact that Castlevania does do that. Here we go. See? I knew it. Now, how... How in the world? Okay, yep. How do I get up there, though? Because there's a hidden room behind the waterfall. How do I get up there? How about, what if I... Yeah, like that! O Osafune Katana? Okay, what are, what are you? Where is... Know where this is. Oh, here it is. Not as good. Cool. All that for a mall katana. Come on. And some garnet. More stuff to sell, sure. Isn't this the exact same thing that was, uh... Oh no, this is a bat pentagram. That's... The other one was just a normal pentagram, I think. Gotcha. No, I didn't get the last hit. Riff did. Good work, Riff. Uh, yeah, that's about everything mapped out for this castle, except for up in the chapel. And we will get that on the way back. Because right now, we're going to the library. Alright, so, here's the agenda one more time. Buy and sell with the librarian, go back to the inverted castle, finish mapping the place out, try farming for the chrysagrum, 
and uh, then go kill Dracula. What can I do for you? Oh, we're gonna hear it one last time. I'm interested in the. <laughs> like you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> like you. Okay, I definitely had more than one diamond. Don't, don't, don't fuck with me. I had I'm more than one of them. This. Gallimoth is the most expensive one of these to buy. Good God. I'm interested in this. Yeah, can we find him here? I bet he's gonna be at like the very end. Level 50, HP, unknown, strong versus none, immune, none, weak versus none, absorb none, dropped items, none, experience, 9,999. Magical being with plan to rule the netherworld. Fuck that guy. I'm interested in this. Right, what do we have here? I have all of this money, and you don't have a goddamn thing worth buying. You were you were on some goofster behavior, sir. I don't need any of this. Here, you know what? I, oh, whoa, oh, 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 wait, wait, wait. Maybe we can do some business, actually. Uh, because I will take, for the last boss fight, I will take an elixir. <laughs> like you. I will take a couple of high potions. <laughs> like you. Uh, and I do want to... I'm interested in this. What is this? Help? What is this? What is this? What did I do? What did I do? Huh? Oh, it's just, this isn't me playing. This is just like a video showing you the best way to beat the boss. That's silly. I mean, that's neat. That would have been really cool, I think. I'm interested um, in this. I'm interested in this. I guarantee if I saw that when I was really young, I would have thought that was the coolest shit ever. Um... But yeah, no, I'm good, man. Uh, I guess I'll just buy some more. Bam. Thank you. There we go. Thank you. All right. Well, for now. Bye, bye. Okay. Before we leave the library for good here, do you think I should fuck with him one more time? Do you think I should try hitting the bottom of the chair and see if he drops anything? One damage spell book, anything but that. Oh, Some unpleasant stuff in this place. If I recall correctly, you still have two items to get, but we're trying. And I want to find that last familiar. Um, let's see, is there anywhere else here that I haven't mapped out yet? No, I think I've mapped everything here. Um, wait. Maybe. You have to let the chair hit the floor before you poop him again. Okay, thank you, wonderful Vengus. Um, I might have an idea on where that last familiar is. I'm not sure, though. It has been a while, but there are a whole bunch of, like, secret rooms everywhere. But I did find one of those secret rooms in the inverted castle that I don't think I have here. So I'm gonna try to see if I can get it here. Maybe that's where the familiar will be. Oh, wait. I got an idea. Check me out. Uh... 
I'm gonna put my good stuff. Okay, there's the goddess shield. Cool. Um, so then the Alucard shield and the Alucard sword. Alucard mail. Okay, yeah, we're good. So now my drop rate for everything is increased. Which I'm also going to be wearing this while I try farming for the Chrysagrim. Which I need to go to the inverted library and farm schmooze for. Which sounds completely fucking insane. We're not gonna do this for long. I'm gonna try a few times. I'm gonna see if I get the stuff and if not we're moving on. We have other stuff to do. We can't spend all day ramming our head up the librarian's ass. As funny as it may be, it is it is still amusing even after all this time. Drop something. You know you want to. I know you got Dracula's cape sitting in your pocket. You just want to get rid of it. Why not take this as an opportunity to throw it down the hole? That would be neat, I think. Why not just be cool? It make it would make all of our lives easier. The librarian is happy for the attention, I'm sure. Yeah, probably. I forgot I can do the little double hit there. That second surprise hit, he never sees it coming. Come on, give me one thing and I'll leave. Give me one thing and I'll leave. You have two things. You could keep one of them, just give me one. How many hours do you think people spent doing this back in the day before they knew for sure what items he was going to drop? People probably spent, like, weeks just doing this in case he dropped more. I guarantee it. I would have. Like, if I was playing this back when it came out, I totally would have spent just, like, days on end once I got one thing. And what are the odds, do you think, of somebody getting something on their first try and deciding to do it again, as opposed to somebody doing it once and then being like, oh, that's just a funny thing, uh, but nothing comes of it, and then never doing it again? Especially with how rumors go. Oh, yeah. I miss... Can we talk about that? I miss video game rumors back in the day. I miss believing that every character on God's Green Earth was available in Super Smash Bros. Melee. Oh, you could unlock Toad, you could unlock Sonic, you could unlock all these characters who, you know, obviously aren't in the game. Or weren't in the game back then. I heard all types of shit. I, I used to read... I think I've mentioned... So when I was young, when I was a, a very young kid, there was a website that I used for cheat codes. Uh, it was called Cheat Desk. And uh, that was where I went for literally all of... It's gone now, by the way. Uh, it makes me very sad. I, I looked it up and it is no longer around. Um, you remember the truck in Pokemon you could totally use strength on to get me? Oh, of course. Everyone knew that. And yet, nobody could get Mew for some reason. Um, so, I had this website that I would go to, and I mainly went to it for uh, codes for San Andreas. But I would, I would go there for my other game codes as well. So, Cheat Desk is where I found out how to unlock all of the characters in Melee, but the thing is, anybody could submit their codes for a certain game. So, 
there were just all of these fucking codes about, oh, you can unlock Tom Nook in Melee. You could unlock Mr. Rossetti. You could unlock, you know, Sonic and Toad. You could unlock, like, oh my god, who else? EGAD. You could unlock EGAD. And so I tried, and obviously, because they were bullshit, the ways to unlock them were all the most over-the-top, like, insane things ever. So you would spend weeks at a time trying to perfectly do this method that somebody on the internet said you had to do. And then nothing would happen. So then you would start thinking that you did it wrong, so you would restart the process and do it again. You know, I think the way that everyone said you could unlock Sonic in Melee was you had to, uh, be, like, cruel Melee or whatever the, like, uh, really fucking hard one was. Like, those types of rumors haven't gone away, but they're so easily disproven now that nobody even bothers trying. I'm not gonna lie, I, uh... So someone I know, back in the day of uh, Black Ops 2, Call of Duty Black Ops 2, someone that I know was like, hey man, uh, do you, uh, do you know that, uh, what was it? On, um, Hijack, the cruise ship map in Black Ops 2. They're like, hey man, uh, if you do all of this stuff, if you run around the map like six times and you lay in all of these different locations and you throw grenades perfectly in these spots and then you 360 no scope the sun and you do all this shit uh, and if you do all this you look out the back of the ship and uh, the bat plane Batman's fucking jet plane shoots out of the water and flies in front of the sun and then flies back into the water and as soon as he told me, I was like, that's not real. He's like, no, there's a video of it. I'm like, that's not real. That's that's edited. I'm, I, I'm telling you, I swear to you, that's not real. And he showed me the video, and yeah, it was edited. But the crazy thing is now, the way that Call of Duty is gone, I would not be surprised in the slightest if that was a real Easter egg they threw in, you know, so they could sell the Warzone Batman pack for fucking $30. Do we want to open up this can of worms while we're here, Call of Duty? I, uh... So when I was a young kid, like, it was right after I got my first PS2. And I was still losing my mind at all the games that were on there that I had never played before. And, uh, I got Call of Duty Finest Hour. And it was just... It was a whole new world to me. Uh, it was absolutely insane. And after that, like, I would play Call of Duty games when I could. Because it was so new and exciting and different. So, a few years down the line. <clears throat> excuse me. <clears throat> I apologize. So, a few years down the line. Also, I'm going to I'm going to finish telling this story and then we're moving on. I'm not going to keep hitting the librarian for nothing. Um So a few years down the line, there was this place where I lived that it was like uh, a video game rental hangout spot. So you could rent uh you know, you basically paid to get in. And then they would loan you consoles and games and controllers. They had all these rooms. There was PC gaming, console gaming. There were pool tables, ping pong tables. It was amazing. Uh, closed down literally the month after I went there. So I never got to go again. But um, so I won tickets. Well, I won a ticket, excuse me, to go. Like one free stay all day visit to this place. And so I went. And, you know, me being... Me being young, uh, I was taken there and I was told, okay, you can only stay for an hour. 
And it's like, this was a fucking all-day pass, man. Like, what do you mean an hour? And it's like, well, you either stay for an hour or you don't get to go at all. Like, we'll, we'll just leave. And it's like, all right, fine. I'll take an hour over nothing. Um, again, they closed down, like, right after. So I guess I'm glad I, I went when I did. But, so, I didn't have a 360. You know, the 360 was brand spanking new at the time. Uh, well, not, like, not the day of launch, but, like, it had recently come out. Uh, what was brand spanking new, like, I'm talking this might have been the day of release, was Call of Duty for Modern Warfare, the, the original Modern Warfare. So I went into this place, and I'm like, let me get an Xbox 360 in Modern Warfare, and the guy's like, all right, bet. So I load it up, and somebody had already finished the campaign on that Xbox. So, uh, for whatever reason, I played the last mission of the Modern Warfare 1 campaign and, like, spoiled it for me. Uh, I didn't know who any of the characters were. I didn't understand any of the emotional weight or anything behind it. Not that it was that emotional. It was Modern Warfare 1 and they hadn't really established shit yet. But it's just like, okay, well, there's people dying and people shooting and then cool slow motion and all right. And then I hopped into multiplayer and it was, oh my god, it was amazing. Like, it was simple, but that was okay. It didn't need to be complicated. It provided something new. It, not even new. It, they just kind of changed up the wheel, but it was badass. So I played the multiplayer for an hour, and I remember leaving and being like, Call of Duty is the greatest game ever. Uh, obviously, I don't think that way anymore, but at the time, oh man, Call of Duty was untouchable. You know, obviously I played them all after that. Modern Warfare 2, 3, Black Ops 1, 2. Black Ops 2, to this day, is the only Call of Duty game where I hit Prestige Master and I got diamond on, like, all my guns and shit. And then there's Call of Duty now, which is kind of what this has all been leading up to. Also, I'm moving on. This, we're not... I, I'm sorry. I tried. We're not getting anything out of it. But there are still two items to get from him that I just don't get to have, I guess. Um, so. Call of Duty now. Shit sucks, man. It is so soulless and, and just uninspired. Call of Duty doesn't care. Activision doesn't care. Treyarch doesn't care. They know they are going to pour some slop on a plate and the same people that buy every single Call of Duty game will buy that one too. They could put out a subpar piece of shit. They could call it Call of Duty 37 subpar piece of shit edition and it would still sell like hotcakes. Because, you know, in a sad way, that's just what it, it that's just what's expected. It's a yearly release franchise. Nobody holds them to any standards anymore. And a lot of the people playing these games aren't old enough to remember when these games were good. You have children being raised by, you know, the games. And I'm not I'm not saying anything about all oh, kids being raised by video games. Uh, you know, I played a lot of video games growing up. I can't talk. But, real shit, alright? Kids are being raised by these video games. But they're being raised by video games in a time where they don't know what a good video game is. You know, the peak, the greatest game ever made to most of these kids is either Fortnite or Roblox. So when they play some piece of shit, super garbage Call of Duty, well, guess what? To them, that's still peak. The garbage yearly, yearly release Call of Duty is still the greatest game they've ever played. And they don't want to play the old Call of Duty games because the brain rot is so deep 
nowadays that any game that doesn't have modern day 4K graphics is old and it sucks. Like, these are the kids that if you showed them this game, they'd be like, oh, that's bad. Oh, they look at it. You can't see the pores on Alucard's ass. That's a bad game. Because not only has the standard for video games overall been lowered, but the standard for video games has now become equated with how realistic are the graphics. Not how stylized are the graphics, how realistic are they? You know... The idea that hyper-realism is the only acceptable type of graphic standard for video games is fucking cancerous, and it needs to end. But my point is, with all of this, like, Call of Duty and every, you know, installation of Call of Duty is just gonna get worse. It's only gonna get worse. Because nobody holds these games to any standards anymore. And, you know, the next generation doesn't remember what standards they could or should... Eh? What was that? Oh! Here we go. You know, they... Hey! There's the last relic. We now have every relic in the game. Bitchin'. Um... But, like, these kids don't know what standards they should be holding games to. That's kind of why... That's at least a very big part of the reason why I choose... I don't play... I'm sure you've noticed this. If you look at the games I've played, if you look at, at the games that I have played, I'm not playing a lot of the latest and greatest. I'm not playing a lot of games that have come out this year, or last year, or the year before that even. I play some older games. And there's a reason I do that. One, because I love these games. These are games that I grew up playing. These are games that I know are absolute masterpieces. But the other reason is like, there needs to be people streaming these games. There are a million, billion, billion streamers out there playing the newest games. And yeah, maybe people want to watch those more right now. They want to see the new game that came out today. Oh, show me the new game that just came out right now. That's fine. But everybody knows about those new games. And maybe they'll forget about them. Maybe they, too, will need to be streamed one day so people don't forget. But that is exactly why I stream some of the older games that I do. Because it's important to keep these games still fresh in people's memories. You know, the gameplay, the art, the music, the characters, the story. These are things that need to be kept alive. These are things that need to be shoved back into, you know, people's faces again so they don't forget. Now, I'm not saying that, oh, everybody's... The Zoomers, oh, the Zoomers are forgetting about Castlevania. The Zoomers are forgetting about New Vegas. The Zoomers are forgetting about Mario. The, that's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying that, like, if these games are not preserved by the companies, if these games are not made readily accessible and available by the companies, they will fall into obscurity, even if they are great games, even if they're masterpieces. If these games are not preserved one way or another, they will be forgotten one day. And that's a big part of why I make it a point to stream some of these older games, to make sure they don't die, to make sure they stay alive, to make sure that people that don't know about them can know about them. People that don't know about them can find them, can see them, can experience it you know, for themselves. That's why it's so important to me to stream these older games. You know, I hope... I really do hope if I can show one person, you know, a new game, a classic game that they might not have found on their own otherwise, I'll call that a victory. I'll call that a win. You know, I hope 
I hope with these streams, I hope that I do something here and that I can make something here that people can enjoy. But even if, even if that isn't the case, if I can just show somebody a game that they might not have heard of before that they can play on their own then, and they love, then I'll consider what I'm doing here a success. I'm sorry, I know I kind of just started soapboxing for a minute there. It's just, this type of stuff is important to me, you know? I really do want to keep these games alive, and I really do want to share these experiences and these masterpieces with people that might not know about them. I, I hope, I hope that's something I can do. I hope that's something that I can accomplish with these streams. But, now that I've rambled on forever in a day uh we are gonna finish mapping out the area and head to the library all right so we're gonna head to the right first we do also need to finish mapping out the clock tower but we'll get there This sword does, like, no damage. Holy shit. 46 damage as opposed to, um... 86. Yeah, 40 less damage. You know, for the time being, until we get to the library and start farming, I'm gonna put my good stuff back on. Yeah, this is fine. Alright. Back to it. Still not killing them? I know I one shot at the tombstones before. Why am I not getting them now? Do I have to get them while they're jumping? I guess, maybe. All right. Go up here, map this real quick. Oh, what is in here? A saber? Yeah, alright. Oh, with the mist now, we can deal with the pods. Yeah, baby! This is how you do it. I guess I don't need to stay in the mist forever. It does really burn through in magic. Alright, there's the next room we need to finish mapping. So... How long do I want to spend trying to get the Crusade room even? Like, if I don't get it, it's fine. It's not gonna be, you know, the end of the world. I just won't have it. And it is a really good weapon. Like, I bet it would make the last boss fight a lot easier. We'll try to get it. We're gonna try to get the Crusade room. But if I don't, it's not the end of the world. Actually, this goes up higher than I thought. Okay. Right. Just poison mist through everyone. This is how you do it. This is how you solve problems. Alright, this is the... Confession. Can I sit upside down? I want to sit upside down. I'm... Turn into a bed. Sit upside down. It's fine. Oh, shit. I never finished exploring the outside out there, did I? 
Okay, I have a lot more to map than I uh, may have initially thought. That's fine, we've got time. Uh, Riff, help me. Thank you, Riff. So I guess that's like the imp thing that they do. If they command grab me, they make me just sit in place and attack over and over again, which is a really weird effect, I guess. Oh, hey. Oh, dear. Okay, you did some damage. Oh, that, something fell off. I hope that wasn't important. It probably wasn't, but either way, I hope it wasn't. All right, we got everything here. Um, oh, right in here, I need to get... back the other way because I need to go outside and map stuff out there. No, oh, that's not. Damn it. Griff, Griff, you want to step in? Fucker. Alright, straight to the left. Five minutes. If nothing else, we may go a little bit over time. Not by long. Like, we can literally go end the game whenever we want to. Yeah, great work. Great work. You really you really showed me. What's this by the way? Okay, kinda sick, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, no. No, no. I will be going for that save room now. Thank you. We'll map outside and head... So the teleporter... I'm trying to, like, map things out in my mind. So we go left, map outside, go down and to the left to the teleporter. Alright. Then we can take the teleporter over to the library, and then... We can try to get the Chrysagrum... And after that, we will go kill Dracula. Sound like a plan, everyone? All right. Thank God the save rooms restore your mana. Otherwise, I would be in a world of trouble with how much I've been relying on the poison gas. I'll admit, I judged it. I judged it way too harshly. I was goofing on the gas cloud. Uh, do you see what this shit's doing right here? Broken. Absolutely broken. Just like the Crusader. Listen, I really want to get this sword. Uh, so one thing that I did... Oh, actually, this isn't outside. This is down here. This is where I needed to uh, 
Okay. I was completely wrong. I thought this was outside here. Ram? Like, the sword of Sigurd? Alright. Uh, that was the risky way to do things. I don't know why I did it like that. But, hey, we are... We're getting through everything here. I have not been out here before, apparently. Skulls don't take damage. For once, that little teleport move really did come in handy. Now drop down. Not. Yeah, okay, yeah, that far. So, one thing I was doing while I was saving last was I looked up the exact drop rate for the Chrysagrum. With all of the drop bonuses equipped, like I had, or I'm gonna have. There is a 1 in 588 chance of getting the Crusagrum to drop. I mean, that that may sound bad. I've, I've had worse odds before. I've beaten worse odds. What's this? Oh, another, another JoJo stone mask. Perfect for a vampire. Or a Dampier, or whatever exactly Alucard is. Half vampire, half human. That's a Dampier, right? Am I stupid? Am I... Am I not informed on... These things? Alright, I'm gonna have to go ride the teleporters around a bit here. Here? Yeah, here we are. All right, so there's the save room and the light. Also, I need to finish mapping the outer wall here. What is that percentage wise? Uh, the fuck. Okay, hold on. I need to look that up now. Um, what is one? Oh, my gentle Jesus. Okay, so the Chrysagrim has a 0 0.0017 drop rate. 0 0.0017 percent. If you want to really get technical, it's 0.0017006802727. The drop rate for this is in the thousandths of a percentage with the items needed to increase drop rate. That's fucking insane, man. Uh, let's see here. Listen, the last time... Also, I just never get to use the elevator. That kind of sucks. I understand why. We're in an inverted castle. It makes sense why. That doesn't change the fact that I want it. But yeah. Um, so the first time I played through Symphony of the Night, I got the Chrysagrum. And it took an excessive amount of farming to get. I'm talking like... I spent some time trying to get this fucking thing. So here is my plan, if everyone is okay with it. Alright? I'm gonna go for it. And even if I don't have the map fully unlocked after, as soon as I get the Chrysagrim, we're going right for Dracula and we are ending the game. 
Oh, there's a shmoo. So, uh, here's the other thing, all right? If I were to equip the full Alucard armor as is, you know, recommended in the name of increasing your drop rate. If I were to do that, I would not be strong enough to one-shot the shmoos. I need to find the room that has the most of them. The most schmooze per capita. Down here, maybe? There's one. There's two. Lion. Alright. I will also say, as soon as I get the Forsagrim, that's the only weapon I'm using for the rest of the game. I'm not using anything else. Okay, this might be the room with the most, uh, the most schmooze. So, I do have a plan. This is the main room, of course, this is where they're all yeah, that makes sense. So I'm gonna hit, I'm gonna hit the save room real quick. Just in case. Two-shotting the Tin Man now, I remember when he used to be a real problem, Jesus. All right. Here we are. So we're gonna save and we're gonna throw on the ar or we're gonna throw the armor on first. That would be an idea. Uh, anything else to increase drop rate? I have more diamonds to sell. Why didn't the librarian take them, you rat bastard? All right, anyway. So then the Alucard shield and Alucard sword. So now we have maximum luck, maximum drop rate. But will I be strong enough to farm? That's the question. Will I be strong enough to one-shot the schmooze? That's what really is going to be the game changer here. Let us see. One, how much damage do I do? Two, how much damage do I take? Or Rift could just do it. Rift could handle it. Do I get drops if Rift gets the kill? Okay, I can't one-shot them. Um, I should at least be able to two-shot. I take a lot more damage than I would like. That's, that's... That's for sure. Um, I might need to put Riff away. Straight up, I might need to uh, tag out Riff because he's getting too many kills right now. And I don't know if I can get them if, if Riff kills them. So we're going to run solo for a minute. Uh, hello, are there schmooze down here? Oh, there sure are. They're all over the damn place. There's one... Oh, this is gonna be hell. This is gonna suck, man. Um, but I want that sword. I want the Crusagrim. That was a that was a weird looking drop and I got really excited for a second. But it turns out that was ramen. I got a steaming hot bowl of ramen from a fucking schmoo. Alright, come on then. Money. 
I don't need money. I, I've become so rich in this game, I have no need. So here's going to be our little cycle for the time being, all right? I'm going to run the gauntlet, and I'm going to kill all the schmooze. And, uh, that doesn't sound good. Uh, I'm going to kill all of the things that might drop the Crusagrum. And, uh, then I'm going to go back to the save room to get my health back and respawn all of the enemies, and I'm going to try it again. And we're going to try that for a little bit here. And if the Crusagrum doesn't drop, then I guess we're just going to go fight Dracula and call it a day. Sure, we are still good to go here. All right. Come here, Shmoo. Please bring a sword with you. I have to finish this uh, stream sometime today. What do we got? Tin Man. Still two shotting the Tin Man. I uh, I like that at least. There's one. More ramen. More ramen for me. Yummy, yummy in my tummy. Thank you, Shmoo. It's, it's everything I could have hoped for, everything I dreamed of, everything I was asking for. Good old-fashioned ramen for the heart and soul. I just can't get enough. More fucking ramen. Brother, are, are, you, are you goofing me right now? That's perhaps too much ramen. That's all I'm trying to say. I don't need that much ramen. How am I ever gonna eat that much ramen? What is that? The gauntlet. Okay, so these other guys are dropping cool shit. Why can't the schmoo? Critical hit, that's nice. Javelin. Hold it right out of that guy. You don't really need it, Alucard. You didn't need to take the javelin out of that impaled man. Speaking of, how fucked up it is. It, like, so Vlad. Vlad the Impaler. Dracula. Bro impaled all of these dudes. And then brought them back to life and is making them hop around and do his bidding in his upside down castle. This man is sadistic. Okay, like, we have a 0.0017% chance of any one of the schmooze dropping the Crusagrum. At the very least, that's not zero. That's better than zero. As a gotcha player, I have to look on the bright side because if I look on the realistic side, I will try. Fuck a duck, come on, man. There we go. Just a just one Crusadrum. That's all I want and all I'm asking for. Did I hit him twice or did he just explode? I gotta remember to come down here. Two schmooze spawn down here. Nope. Still nothing. 
We're struggling. We are in the trenches right now. Um, but again, I cannot, uh, I cannot let it be forgotten. There's no reason to do this. We can finish the game whenever we damn well please. Um, this is purely because I like this weapon. It is so unapologetically broken. Like, once you have the Crusagrim, you can do whatever you damn well please. Like, nobody's gonna be able to stop you. You're just built for tough at that point. Come here, Shmoo. There was no sword there, Shmoo. I ask you for one thing and one thing only, and you still fuck me over. Huh? Okay. We're uh we're getting in our uh we're getting in our Dracula bag now. Alright, back to the save room. I'm sorry. I know this is not the most entertaining thing, but if can you imagine how fucking hype it's gonna be when I get that sword? That's what we're going for. That's what we're chasing here. We're, we want that sword. I want that sword mainly, but we want that sword, I think. Also, real quick, I want to just take a... Uh, can I... Okay, I can't exit the game to the menu to see how much of the map I have unlocked. So I don't know what ending we're going to get. We're either going to get the good ending or the bad ending. Well, not the bad ending. Uh, we're gonna get the true ending or just the good ending. That's the better way to say it, I think. Because again, I think you need 196% map completion to get the true ending. Come here, you. Bunny. I guess. One of them's gonna drop it. Just, just, just bear with me. Just have faith. It's just like Santa said. The only way it's happening is if you believe in Christmas cheer. Nope, that's a heart. That's not a. That's not a thing. I love when the guy stops hopping on the javelin and just starts Jamiroquai sliding. Like, couldn't even be asked to keep up the, uh, ramen! Ramen! Delicious ramen. Top of the line ramen. Cup noodles straight from Dracula's castle. Castlevania ramen. One of a kind. Uh, always, always warm. Always steaming hot. No matter whose dead body it comes out of, the ramen is always hot. Castle, Vanya Rock. I am in agony. But we're gonna get it. We're gonna get it. Just, just keep believing. up here. Alright. We're not gonna go right to the save room. I wanna just try getting more schmoo. Heart. That's a heart. Tin Man is gonna be here. I'm gonna start, like, knowing where every schmoo comes from here. Like, I think that's exactly how I was the last time I did this. I just learned where every single one of them came from. Another heart. 
It's also times like these that make me wish that Alucard had a sprint like the, uh, like the bell, or at least like Richter does. We're just going right back to the drawing board. I already, I'm not, I'm not feeling it up there. I don't feel it in my bones. We're gonna, we're gonna save, we're gonna heal up, and we're gonna run it again. Again and again and again, by golly, until we get that sword or until we decide to give up and just go kill Dracula. Because that's what motivation is. You, you gotta, you gotta stay at it. You gotta keep the faith. You gotta remember what you're going for. Remember what you wake up in the morning thinking about. Mm-mm-mm. Chris Sagram. It, it's, it's the, it keeps me up at night. It wakes me up in the morning. That three-hit sword that completely breaks the fucking game. That's all I need. Here's me. How much you want to bet the next Shmoo drops wrong? What's the over-under? No, a heart. Okay, he dropped a heart. Don't I look like an asshole now? He won't drop ramen. He won't. Alright. Shmoo Massacre 2024. You get used to it. I one shot at that one. I I feel like I should get some extra drop points for that. Fuck. Oh, it hurts. For fifty six damage, it hurts. Come down here, Shmoo. Nope. Back to the drawing board. Uh, here, how about I, uh, how about we start down here? And we just work our way up. This all feels very familiar. I think this is the exact same way I, uh, I farmed the last time I did this. And I guarantee, once I got the Crusagrum the last time, I told myself, never again. I will never do this again. Because that's usually what I tell myself, uh, after doing some crazy shit in the game. I say crazy, I mean tedious. And you know what's funny is, more often than not, I end up doing it again. I just can't help myself. I there, There's some level of... I enjoy getting these difficult to get things. It's why I'm a gotcha player. It, it's half, I love the, the, the excitement, the relief, the satisfaction of finally getting it. And half, I'm some kind of masochist for the struggle of getting it. Ramen! Ramen, ramen, ramen! Beautiful. I don't want any more ramen. I've gotten too much ramen. I'm not even gonna eat that shit. I got potions. You think I'm just gonna sit down and crack open a cup noodle while I'm fighting Dracula? No, I planned ahead. I got potions for this situation. I don't need more fucking cup noodles. And I guarantee it's not the good ramen. Probably no meat in that shit. No egg. You know what that ramen is? That is pure just hot water, cardboard noodles, and sodium. That is all that is in that fucking ramen right there.
Bang. Drop ramen, so help me God. Thank you. Drop nothing. If you're just gonna give me ramen, I I'd rather you not drop anything. Don't insult me with the with the 99 cent cup noodle instead of the fucking top of the line game breaking sword. I will be less salty about getting nothing. You know, middle ground, it's not ramen, but it's still not the Crusagrum. Back to the save room, I'm getting a little... I'm lower on health than I would really like to be right now. Also, uh, I just noticed what time it is, so I can definitively say we are going over time. Um, I'd say, how much longer should I spend trying to get the Crusagrum? Like, I'm gonna feel like such a piece of shit if I keep this going and I never get it. Do I just cut my losses now, or like... What are we thinking? Do we commit? Are we in too deep? Do we keep hunting? Do we keep chasing the dragon? What do we do? In the meantime, I'm gonna keep at it, but I just wanna make it clear, like... We're already over time on the stream. trying to min-max our shmoo runs. We come up here, we get these shmoos up here, and then we go back. Because, like, to keep going further, yeah, there are more shmoos, but, like, at this point, we're not getting them. I think we go about halfway down the line there, and we turn back, all right? I think this is going to be the ideal way to min-max shmoo hunting. Money. We're going to get it. I swear to you, we're going to get it. It might be a slow process, but it's a worthwhile process. You have to go through the process. You have to understand the process to really appreciate what you get. Like, yeah, we're gonna suffer to get it, but when we do get it, we are getting, in my opinion, the best sword in the game, the most broken sword that you can do fucking anything with. Any boss you want to kill is dead when you have the Crusagrum. I would love to get the Crusagrum and start New Game Plus so I could go beat Gallimoth's bitch ass with it. Like, I, I bet you, if I took the Crusagrum down there to fight Gallimoth, it would not have been that difficult. It would not have taken that long. I would have jumped him, and then it would have been over. That is the power of the Crusagrum. And I've said the name so many times that I really hope I'm saying it right, because otherwise I'm going to look like a grade-A Calabunga dumbass. 25 bucks. Can't put a price on a sword. I mean, you can, just not this sword. I wish you could, I would just buy it. I've got two diamonds up my ass right now. I tried to sell them, the librarian didn't want them. to the drawing board. I'm 
barking mad. This time, though, this time's gonna be, uh... Ramen! Ramen, ramen, ramen! You guys like ramen. I just... I just can't... I just cannot escape the ramen in my life. I'm haunted by it. If I never, ever, ever, forever, never, ever, if I never see ramen again, it'll be too soon. If I'm being really honest with you, like, if I'm being straight up, guys, I don't fucking like ramen. I don't enjoy ramen. I don't eat ramen. So not only am I not getting the sword I want, I'm getting the food I fucking hate. I'm getting bullied by the game for even attempting to get this broken sword. Back at it again at the Krispy Kreme! Okay. But what if... What if this one? What if this... What if... What if he drew... Mm. I didn't mean that guy. I meant the next one. The next one's gonna drop it. Just you... Just you wait. Or, he, or the next one could, could kick my ass. He dropped a big heart. I haven't seen a big heart in a while. It's like going on a long car ride. And, you know, you try to look out and look at interesting things. What do you see on the journey? I see, uh, I see a bag of money. I see a big heart. I see... 38 bowls of ramen. I see a library. You gotta keep yourself entertained. You gotta make your own fun during times like this. Because otherwise, you will go completely fucking insane. Alright, chat. It's time to make a difficult call. I'm thinking we only make a few more runs on this because we're already over time and we're not we're not getting a Crusagram any anytime soon, maybe. Unless Okay. How many more runs do you think, chat? Or do we do we stay the course? Do we just Do we go for it until we get it, as long as that takes? Which again, 0.0017% chance of getting this thing to drop. It might take a while. There was just a special on ramen at the store, that's why there's so much. I mean... Dracula's wife is, uh... She's gone. They're, you know my guy's not eating any home cooking anymore. Maybe he really did just stock up on ramen. Maybe that's all he had to feed the troops. Like, listen, I'm gonna go up to the throne room, you know, I'm gonna go to my, my sanctuary, my inner sanctum, and I'm going to swirl a glass of wine around and wait for the next Belmont to arrive so I can monologue about what a man is. Uh, in the meantime, I bought, like, just a shitload of Top Ramen. Do you guys prefer Maruchan? Don't worry, I bought some of that too. Like, at least 80 pallets of it. Um, if nobody's gonna eat it, I'm just gonna give it to the schmooze. I know that- What the motherfuck? What is- Who did he- Who- Where did a machine gun? That wasn't English. That mostly wasn't English, but that was a machine gun. And none of the schmooze dropped the Crusader, motherfucker. Uh, hey. Yeah, you need to knock that shit off. 
Instant ramen with an egg cracked in it counts as home cooking. Does it? Nissan is the best. Like, I will... I'll trust your judgment. I simply... I just don't eat ramen. I do not like ramen. I think I, uh... Money, 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 I don't need it. No machine gun. Don't even start on that machine gun fuckery this time. Yeah, I don't think we, um... I don't mean to be a downer, alright? I just want to say, maybe realistically... Unless we want to do another stream of this, I'm talking perhaps a stream entirely of me farming for the Chrysagrum. I don't think I'm getting it. Like, I'm sorry, I thought I might be able to. Uh, I thought I was hot shit. I really did. And alas, that .0017 drop rate. Oh, it's a bitch. That one in 588. Like, if I killed 588 schmooze, there's still no guarantee that I'm getting the, uh... There's still no guarantee of the sword. That's simply just the odds. That's not a kill count. Every single time I kill a schmoo. Every time I kill a schmoo. Ramen. Right in the face. Just a bunch of fucking ramen. But every time I kill a schmoo. We are rolling very tiny, tiny, tiny dice. Right? We are rolling 588-sided dice. And I'm not winning. I am, in fact, losing. I am losing the drop rate. Drop rates are shit, no pity. Shanking my head. Uh, gotcha's mid. Read up is a lie. Chat, I am inclined to agree with you, but ramen! The ramen rate up. Did you know that uh, three of the same letters in rate are in ramen? Hey, look, two bags of $25. Golly. We do a lot of suffering. We do a lot of ramen. We eat excessive, gratuitous, disgusting amounts of ramen. And then we don't get anything afterwards. That's it. At least it's not spicy Mapo tofu. That is... That is a consolation. That is true. I cannot, uh... I cannot complain. It is not spicy Mapo tofu. But it is still ramen. For that matter, why is there so much ramen in a Transylvanian castle in 1796? Where did they get it? Like, I understand in the extended universe or whatever, there are Japanese vampires as well. Like, vampires aren't exclusively in Transylvania. But how did they get ramen? That's, 
that's the real question right now. Not when will I get this fucking sword. Where and how and when did they get the ramen? I don't think we can let that slide. They just have pallets and pallets of ramen in Transylvania. Oh. Fucked up that one. to be more ramen. It has to be more ramen soon. You fucker. One dollar. If only I could buy some ramen for a dollar. I don't know how many more times I'm gonna do it. Um, let's say five more times, okay? Five more times. I'm going to do another five attempts at getting the fucking Crusade And then we're just not getting Mojo Mail? What is Mojo Mail? Did the fucking Tin Man drop better stuff than all of the schmooze combined? What is Mojo Mail? Mojo Mail. Increases magic attack power. Fuck, man. That's... That's not bad. That's not bad armor. I think that was like a rare drop from the, uh, the Tin Man. Now, what if, because I got the Tin Man drop, what if, what if I got the, uh, what if I got the, uh, you know, the Shmoo drop, huh? What if... Or nothing. Or nothing is fine. I should have asked for more ROM. Alright, four more. We have to be close. I, 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 I feel it. 99% of gacha players stop right before they get that SSR. I, I know I'm gonna get it. I cannot fail. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm built different. Yeah, everybody else might have trouble with the, with the drop rates, but I'm simply built different. I would just, I would simply just get it. times. Three more times and then we're going to fight Dracula. <clears throat> I'm feeling it. Are you feeling it? I'm feeling it. Three more times. It's gotta work. It's gotta. It simply, it has to. With crit numbers like that, it, it's just gotta work. I know it does. I know it will. 
Another gauntlet. Everybody likes those, right? You're never at the edge. You fuck. What are you doing here? magic maybe all right uh, I don't I don't quite know the fox magic to summon the Crusagrum but I'm, I'm I'm simply willing it into existence I'm using I'm using all of my fox magic I'm using the latent power within me to summon this one punk ass sword all right that's a heart that was $25 we're getting closer. I just, I, I'm willing it to be. $25, we're getting closer. Another heart. Just gotta believe. It's gonna... Another heart. They're all dropping something now. I think they're... I think they're getting the idea. How about you? The one asshole that didn't drop anything. Fuck you. Okay, um... Two more times. Two more times. Do I see two more times? It's gotta. I know it's gotta. No machine gun. God, please. Please, just just a little... A, a crumb of crusade. One more time. If I was smart, if I was smart, I would have farmed for this off camera. Like, if I was smart, I would have spent the past few days just trying to get this one sword. I didn't. And now, on stream, I face the consequences. It sucks, but it is what it is. is getting a little low. What do we have? One more? Alright, I'm gonna go save and then we're gonna make one last run through the library. This will be our final attempt for the Crusade run. Because we're already a half hour over time for the end of the stream, and we still need to fight Dracula. One more time, from the top, once more, with feeling. This is it.
Big heart, good start. Nothing, bad follow up. he would like some ramen if he likes ramen boy do I have good news for him oh this is the special one this one's just for this one's just for Dracula actually wait a minute Okay, hear me out here, okay? I think... Nope. I have an idea. I have an idea. most of the time. What if it works? What if... What if it works, though? It's a new method. It's a new thing I'm doing. I'm, I'm just... What if? to fight Dracula with, but, uh, fuck him. <gasps> Yo! Oh, my God! Chat. Chat. <laughs> Shit out now, baby. Everything dies. Everything is dead. Everything dies. I'm going back to the old save room so I can flex. Look at these motherfuckers now. Everything dies. Do you see why I did this? 
Do you see what I've done? Look upon my works, ye mighty and despair. Forever. Forever. We just keep going forever. I am Foxymandius, King of Kings. I am fucking unstoppable. Oh, Dracula's bitch ass doesn't know what's coming. Oh, ho, ho, yeah. Fuck it, we ball. I am so unbelievably super hyped right now. I told you. I told you I could. I told you I would. All those bowls of ramen ain't shit. This. This is what it's all about, baby. This is what it is. I am, I am unstoppable. I am immortal. I am beyond power. And now, penance will be paid. For every bowl of ramen that old Daddy Vladdy kept in this fucking castle for every bowl of ramen that I have in my inventory I'm gonna kick his ass my my fury is righteous my fury is just and my sword is fast as Fuck. I cannot fucking but hey, yeah, throw everything at me. Throw everyone at me. Let me demonstrate my might, my power. Hey, remember this big sword up here being a problem? I don't. I want to take... You know what? Victory lap. Victory lap through the Colosseum. Yeah, I know we're already over time. I'm taking a victory lap. Remember all the shit that was in the Colosseum? Do you remember everything in here? Check me out, boy. Down here? Down here? I don't give a fuck. This big guy? Ooh. Bunch of goofy goobers. You bunch of silly fucking so-and-sos. What can you do? What will you do? This is my castle now. You're all trespassing. This is my domain. You live as long as I don't find you. Hey, remember this guy? No, you don't. Oh, he hit me once. And then he died. Oh, I'm ready. Dracula. Shh. 
We're coming up on it now. Check this shit out. Let me tell you what. I have everything. Every relic. I've got the best armor. I've got the best sword. Open that shit up real quick. Let me show you. Let me show you how you how we handle shit around here. Go on. Dracula. Father dearest. Vladdy daddy. It is officially 6.30. It's time for me to kick your ass. What's over here? What's over here? What do they got? Heart refresh. I don't need it. Do you think I need the holy water? Do you think this is a christening? Do you think this is someone's last rites? No. This is this is violence. Got to map the area out for uh, the completion of it. Oh shit. You have done well in making it this far. I would expect no less from the son of our master. So you are the one who is controlling Belmont. Yes. I am the dark priest called Shaft. This world must be cleansed in the forge of chaos. Shaft. Why did you make Belmont lord of this castle? For centuries, vampire hunters have defeated evil with holy power. But if two vampire hunters were to fight each other... But Belmont's power is supreme among vampire hunters. None other could defeat him. Exactly. That's why I removed him as a threat, by making him into lord of this castle. But your plan has failed. Has it indeed? We'll see what happens after I destroy your weak human side. Oh, he wants to try it. Oh, Shaft. Shaft! Shaft! These things? These? These are what you're using? Oh, he's sweet. He's a peach. And he's dead. <laughs> you claim to love the darkness. Go then and dwell there for all eternity. Hard as fuck. But my goal is achieved. Count Dracula has come to purify this corrupt world with the searing flames of chaos. Oh, on God? <laughs> yeah? Yeah, just like that? Father. Well met, my son. It's been a long time. I was hoping we would not see each other again. I can't allow you to leave here, Father. You have ever been the ally of humans. Have you forgotten what they did to your mother? Think you I would forget such a thing? No, but neither do I seek revenge against them. Still uttering the same nonsense. No matter. Now is the time to put aside your weak human side and join me in remaking this world! Dracula, in the name of my mother, I will defeat you again! In the name of my mother, die, monster! You don't belong in this world! This is why I got the Crusade room. This is why I did it the way I did. This is, this is peak final form Dracula. Go back whence you came. Trouble the soul of my mother no more. How? 
Chris Agram. How, how is it that I've been so defeated? It's the Chris Agram. You have been doomed ever since you lost the ability to love. Yeah, it love. I, it was love, uh, I guess. Sarcasm. For what profit is it to a man if he gains the world and loses his own soul? Matthew 1626, I believe. Alucard 316 says, I Tell just me. whooped your ass. What, what were Lisa's last words? I think she, she said, said something like, humans. Uh, if you cannot live with fire. them, at least do them no harm. For theirs is already a hard lot. She also said to tell you that she would love you for all of eternity. Lisa, forgive me. Farewell, my son. All right, so then I do I see you again next weekend or is it the weekend after that? What holidays do we have together coming up? Um, I mapped that whole fucking place out. Just for it to get destroyed. You hate to see it. But that's it. We jumped his ass. Shaft and Dracula are no more and the game is done. We're coming up on the credits. I'm going to let the music play. And if uh, you're watching this later on and there's no music, then YouTube decided uh, to... Uh, not be happy so with me it. for that decision. Alucard, I'm glad you're all right. I'm sorry. Tis my fault you had to fight your own father. Fear not. I had my own reasons for destroying him. It must have been painful for you. Indeed. But you must always remember that the only thing necessary for evil to triumph is for good men to do nothing. I understand. Alucard, what will you do now? The blood that flows in my veins is cursed. Twould be best for this world if I were to disappear forever. I see. Farewell then. We'll not meet again. Alucard? Don't you want to go after him, Maria? I'm sorry. I can't let him disappear from my we life. We got the true ending! It's all right. We Go got the best him. ending! Perhaps you can save his haunted soul. Thank you, Richter. Fare thee well. This is the, this is the yourself, good one. dear lady. Maria goes after Alucard and... I'm turning it up. Saxophone Again, since Gran Turismo 2, baby. Just like the sun. Just like the sun. When my day's done. Sometimes I don't like the person I've become. Is the enemy within a thousand men? I can't believe we did it. Should I Beating the game, but getting the true ending and the crusade. There's someone testing me every day I live. Well, the best in me is all I have to give. I can't pretend. I can't pretend. I
Kojima it's caught me off guard. I got confused for a second. I thought it was uh, good old Hideo. Talent booking Latina International Corp. What? Am I not understanding? <laughs> what? Nineteen ninety-seven. God, this game's almost. I guess it's it's closer to. It's over 25 years old. It is almost... This game is almost 30 years old. Jesus Christ. But that's it. We did it. We're done. We... What was our ending map completion? How, how close did we cut it? 196. I had just enough I had 0.8% more map completion than needed I just fucking barely had enough completion to get the true ending with that we gotta call it we are done an hour over time but with the chrysagrum and the true ending everyone thank you so much thank you so much for your patience Thank you so much for your support. Thank you all so much for being here. We are still five, five subscribers away from 100. If you enjoyed that, or if you think the Crusade is sick as fuck, then would you please, ever so kindly, maybe uh, Triple Ghost Sword hit that subscribe button for me. Fucking smash that with the Crusade if you can get it. Good luck. It 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 takes a bit. But with that, we will be back again tomorrow from 5 to 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time with a new game. We will be starting, I believe, Obey Me, which is a very, very, very small title. For, it's the first title of an Argentinian game studio. I know nothing about it, but I got it, and I was curious, so I want to try it out on stream and show it off with you guys. So... Everyone, we are going to go ahead and call it. Thank you so much for being here. I hope to see you all again at another stream very soon. And I hope you all have a fantastic night.